But yeah, where can I go ahead and... No, wait. I haven't said my name, have I? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie, if you don't know me. Today's video is part two of my makeup collection. If you haven't watched part one, I'll go ahead and leave it down in the description box so you guys can go check that out. But yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get started here with part number two. Make sure that you guys grab a snack, grab a drink, because it is gonna be a long one, so. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with this section right here. Go through the stuff in this little acrylic thing here that I have. I just have some sprays and stuff like that. I'm gonna move that so you guys can take a better look at the stuff in here. And this is just a little acrylic. I've had this one for a while now. This is all I used to have was this little thing here of makeup and a couple of palettes and that's all I have. We've come a long way from then. <laughs> I have some milk makeup stuff over here. These are just like the little ones. These were actually gifted to me from my friend on Instagram, Alyssa. I will link her Instagram down in the description box so you guys can check her out. But it came with these and then it came with some other stuff too. I think it's over there or I've used it up already but she sent me a set of little milk makeup stuff for Christmas like a couple years ago and I've had them since. So these are all like different things. This is the cooling water thing. This one is the watermelon brightening serum and then this one is a matte bronzer this one can be used as a cheeks lip or eyes you can use it in different ways so i've had these for a while now they i actually do like these i try to use them around the summertime so you'll probably start seeing me use these if you follow me on instagram that's where i do a lot of little skincare things and stuff like that but now that we have the shorts on youtube i'll probably start posting some of those on youtube as well so so stay tuned for those. I have more milk stuff over here. This is a highlighter and it looks like that. It is really pretty. It is a cream highlighter. I use it mostly on those no makeup days just to give me a little sheen. And then these are really bright actually. I wasn't expecting them to be as bright as they are but the shimmer on this is crazy. So pretty. You can also use it as a no makeup day kind of thing because it gives you that really nice highlight look without being too crazy highlighted and then these are also cream product this one is more like a blush tint kind of thing you guys can see that and then if you just blend it out gives you that nice little blush kind of like sun kiss kind of look and then of course this one i have two these are both from benefit by the way just in case you didn't know they are really pretty i do like to use them like i said more of a no makeup kind of day they're very natural looking and they're not super heavy on your face either which i like this one actually was just given to me <laughs> from my girls here on youtube it was part of my birthday stuff so there's that little lip thingy i haven't even used it yet but the shade on this looks so pretty i'm so excited i love these kinds of shades these really dark shades like that here i have some more milk products this one's another cheek lips and eye one this is a smaller version of the highlighter yeah i'm not sure what shade this is but this is also a highlight and this one's more shimmery it has like little specks of glitter on this one and it's still really pretty very natural looking and then we have some sprays here i have the elf one here this one's really good the only thing on this is that the spritz is very harsh so you really have to be, be really far away for you to actually you know put it on your face because if you're too close it's going to be very very harsh i'll show you a spritz and see if it comes up but yeah like you guys can see like attacks your face because it's so hard <laughs> and then i have this one here from gerard cosmetics this is the slay all day setting spray this is the one that rich lux had a collab with with gerard cosmetics i haven't used this one yet oh this is the dreamsicle one so it's like an orangey you know like a dreamsicle like the one that you eat <laughs> then i have this one this is one of my favorite ones around the winter time because it makes my skin look very nice and dewy then we have this one from glow recipe this is another one of my favorites as well i really like this one definitely gives you that glow and then this one is the catrice prime and fine multi talent fixing spray there actually was three i already used the other two this one's really good too i like the catrice setting sprays they have really nice ones and then here we have these these are from wet and wild and the last one's from steve laurent so i have these two 
too. I don't even think they have these anymore. I did a review on the collection from Wet n Wild. It was Ice and Fire or something like that. But this is the blue ones and I kept them because I thought they were so pretty and I can definitely still use them for like creative looks and Halloween looks. So I kept both of those. And then this one's really pretty. I like the wet formula on this one. I can wear it as a no makeup makeup kind of highlight because it's just so creamy. It just feels so good and it gives you that really nice sheen when you don't want to wear too much highlight. Then we'll move on to this part. This is just a brush holder. These I got off of Amazon. They have the silver ones and they have these gold ones. They're really pretty. I have a few more throughout my collection you guys will see. I really like these. They're really nice and they look really pretty. Now we're going to move on to this section right here. This section right here is pretty much all my Natasha Denona palettes and my first Pat McGrath palette which I'm super excited about. I actually did use it already and I love it. And then we have some more palettes back here that I'll talk about as well. So like I said this is my first Pat McGrath palette and I love it. My friends from YouTube gave me this for my birthday and it's so pretty. I love all the shades in here. Um, I used mostly the shimmer shades last time around but I did use a little bit of this one here. Um, I did not use that one yet. I just swatched it but I did use the shimmer shades in here and this one right here. They are so pretty. I love the formula and of course the packaging is like on point. Next we'll move to the Natasha Denona palettes that I have. I have like four. The other one's a blush palette but this one is is the love palette and these are the more affordable ones these are the $65 ones they are so nice and that's what this one looks like I did use it in a video for Instagram for the looks that I did it's really pretty the formula on these are really really nice I do like them her shimmer shades are just on point they're so nice then we have the bronze palette this palette came out last year around the summertime around this time actually and it is very pretty I love the shades in here they're so nice they're very nice for that bronzy glowy summer look like you're going out at the beach kind of look they're so freaking pretty the shimmers in here are so nice i really love them and the formula on these are really really good as well next up we have the metropolis palette this one was my first ever natasha denona palette the formula on this one is the best formula out of all other palettes that i've talked about so far this one is 129 dollars i'm not telling you to go buy a hundred $29 palette but this is such a good palette. The formula on these shades like every single shade is just so so good. They have like this wet formula to them. They're just so nice and they feel so nice and creamy on your hand like on your eyes. They're so easy to blend. They are very very nice together. I love this palette. The next palette which I was really excited about when it came out because she doesn't have any color palettes is this one. This is the Circle Loco palette and this is what it looks like. The colors in here are so so pretty. This shade right here was just like ah so pretty. They have such a good formula from Natasha Denona. And the other palette that I have here also from Natasha Denona. This is the Diamond and Blush palette. And that's what that one looks like. I like that it has the creams on the top and then you have your powders at the bottom. This one I was actually on sale at Sephora I believe for a long long time. It might still be on there. I'm not sure. But it was $44. Originally is like $90. But it's really pretty. The formula on these are really nice as well. That's what that one looks like. This is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette. This is what this one looks like. These are really nice. I do like them. I don't use them that often but it does have some unique shades in here. This one here this like grayish color and this one right here are really pretty. Definitely different than your normal shade that you would see on an everyday palette. Very pretty shades there. Like I said I've used this palette before. I do like it. I also like this shimmery white in here. That's kind of like a purpley white. Next we have the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. This one is also very pretty. I love all the shades in here some unique shades in here as well this one right here is one of my favorite ones and even the pink one right here is so so pretty so good the bright shades in here are really nice as well this green one the whole palette works out really nicely i know it looks kind of crazy because it has so many colors in here but you can definitely create some not so crazy looks with this palette they're really nice really good formula as well and i do like using this one and i like the packaging on this too like the sweet colorful side and the crazy dark side. 
And then this one, I'm so excited about this one. This one is the Moon Spell Palette from Lunar Beauty. And it looks like a book. It is so cute. I love the packaging on this. This is what this looks like. I think he said the inspiration behind this was like Hocus Pocus. But he wanted to do like a witch's palette. Which is really cool because that's what he named them all. Different witches names from different things. Which is so cool. As you guys can see, I haven't actually used this one. I got this one last year a little bit after Halloween and you guys know I got sick so I wasn't really doing many videos at that time it took time off until like January but anyways that's why I haven't used it these colors right here look so pretty the greens and the purples they all just look so pretty I'm excited to try these out they're more on the fall time kind of colors I really want to create a look with these shades right here they're so pretty and then maybe like add some purples or something this is another one that is on my list to use for a video on my Instagram so make sure that you are following me so you guys can catch those videos when they come out. almost forgot about this section right here. This is like my perfume scent section. So we have a few here. This is black opium. This one is actually gifted to me from my brother. He knew that I wanted it so he bought it for me. And it smells so good. I don't really know the notes of all of these so I'm kind of just going to tell you what I have. Then this one. I really like this one. This one is called Beautiful Bell and it is from Estee Lauder and CJ actually was the one that gifted me this one for Valentine's Day this year and I love it. It's one of my favorite scents. Mm, it just smells so good. I like it and this one actually does stay on me all day. I wish that black opium would stay on me all day but it does not which is so sad but I do still like it. The other one that actually does stay on all day for me is this one that I got from a giveaway from Rachel Flaky Diva. This is the Dozier one and this is a dupe of the Tom Ford one. I can't remember what the actual name of the Tom Ford one is but has a lot of this stuff that I like like patchouli, cedarwood, and rosewood tobacco it just smells so good a very very strong one this one is definitely strong it does last all day last but not least for my bigger ones is this one from jimmy choo and this one i bought but this is the, like the color i bought my grandma the, the lighter pink one but this one is one of my favorites as well i love perfume they smell so good and the bottle is so pretty i love this bottle it's just so gorgeous uh, and then I have these ones here. These were the ones that were gifted to me for my birthday. I really do love these ones. I do spray them on. Usually whichever one I spray on that day, I'll go and throw it in my purse so that I can take it with me so I can spray it throughout the day. But we have these three different ones. Miss Dior, Burberry, Brit, and Envy Me. They all smell really, really good. So I'm excited to have those. And yeah, they smell really good. Then I have a little beautiful bell one. This is the one that I first tried actually. And I had told CG that I was so surprised that it actually lasted on me the whole day so I was excited that finally I had found a perfume that would last on me all day but this is the little tiny sample of it I love this little bottle it's just so cute and I have these other ones this one I believe is Valentino I got this also in a sample thing I also love the little bottle on this it's just so darn cute and then I have this one. This is YSL. Mm, and it smells so good too. It's a little floral. This one, not used to having too much florals, but I do like this one a lot. It has like more of a stronger smell as well like my other ones do, which is why I do like this one. And of course the bottle. Look at the bottle. It's just too darn cute and the little bow. I love it. And then these ones are just sprays. Usually these are the ones that I use like before I go to bed and stuff. Just kind of spray around my hair. This is the Sugar Vanilla. And this one's from Bath and Body Works, I believe. This is one of them. Then I have this one from Ulta. This is the just the fresh water mist. It's not like anything too special. And then this one actually is one of my favorite ones. This is the Japanese Cherry Blossom one. And I do like this one a lot. Like I said, these are just kind of ones that I just spray on like after a shower. Like right before I'm gonna go to bed. I like these a lot. And that is my little perfume collection that I got there. Next section, we're moving on to this side right here. Here, these acrylics I actually also got off of Amazon. They're really handy. If I can find them, I will link them down in the description box so you guys can check these out. These are all different things, but I try to put them all together in their brand 
kind of thing. So I have these here. These are my e.l.f. ones. These are the primer infused ones. I really, really, really like these. This one is the bronzer. As you guys can tell, I do use this one a lot. This is in the shade Perpetually Tan. I like this one a lot. It's really pretty. And like I said, they are primer infused. So they're so much smoother and they're not so powdery. They feel really nice. Almost like a cream, but not quite. You guys know e.l.f. packaging is really simple. But... I like it. And then we have these two. These two are blushes. Also primer infused blushes. This one is the shade Always Peachy, which is a little obviously peach colored blush. And that's what that one looks like. It is very, very pretty. I love it. Then we have this one that is a little bit brighter. I know it looks kind of scary in the pan, but once you put it on your face, it's not that bad. And that's what that one looks like. This one's called Always Fiery. Also a primer infused blush. Then we have the Fenty products that I have here. I think all of these are highlighters here. So this is a highlighter duo blush kind of thing. These are called the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. The shades are Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. They are very, very pretty. I do like these ones. So this is Trophy Wife. Everybody knows Trophy Wife, that gold one. I actually had two at one time, but my mom liked it so much that I gave her the other one. Yeah, I only need one because this thing goes a very long way. You don't need a lot of it on your face. You can always use it as an eyeshadow as well, but it is bam in your face. Gold. And then this one is another dual one. It has this blue one and it has this pretty champagne color one. This one's called Sandcastle here and this one's called Minto Mojito. They're both so pretty. Um, so good so pigmented and then this one is a bronzer and it's very nice as well I do like the formula on these I don't know if you'll be able to see it but that's what the bronzer looks like I do want to try her cream bronzers I haven't tried them yet and then Becca we have some Becca here if you guys don't know Becca is closing down and hopefully they put these on sale so that I can go pick up a few before they close down because this is actually one of my favorite bronzers it was one of the first bronzers that I picked up ever like when I started doing makeup and I've purchased it since then this is probably like my fourth bronzer from her I really like these and CJ always makes fun of me because he says that this looks like the shield from Wonder Woman <laughs> I also have this one this one I picked up from BoxyCharm and it is very pretty I did try it the other day and I do like it a lot you guys can see it has like bronzer in the middle but you can also do like a little shimmer bronzer type moment here because it has this pretty shimmers on the side there but yeah I am sad that they're closing because I really like their bronzer formula a lot. We're gonna go with the next ones. Next up we have here some MAC and some Milani products. So these two MAC ones are highlighters. They are very pretty. Oh, this one's almost finished. Pretty much finished. I had heard Jacqueline and Nicole Guerrero talk about these ones. So I picked it up and like I said, this was one of like the first makeup products that I had purchased when I first started doing makeup. Um, not this one of course, I had like a couple more this is like my third one but as you guys can see it has been loved and used pretty much gone I mean like all you have is the outer <laughs> circle of it there this is soft and gentle then next up you have this one here this one is called oh darling it's just so pretty it's like this golden peachy kind of shade it's really pretty and I do like MAC products and I know they're not completely cruelty free and next up we have a blush this is also from MAC and I've had this one for a while. This one's called Chicky Bits and it is this blush. It is like a shimmer blush kind of thing. Like a pearly kind of blush. You guys can see as I move my finger like there's that little sheen to it. It has like a little golden in it. It's really pretty. And then last but not least for my MAC blushes I have this one here. This one's from Patrick Star Collection and it's a dual one so it has two. I don't think you can find this anywhere but it is one of my favorite ones. It is a pinky purpley blush really pretty as well had it for a while and I do like this now we're gonna move on to the Milani products this one is called the Coral Cove one and it is a blush I love the stuff on these like the rose on them obviously 
I've used it so you can't see the detail on them anymore. But this one is so pretty. It is a coral blush, hence the name Coral Cove. Now these ones that come in this other packaging like these, these are the baked ones. This one is really pretty as well. This one is in the shade Luminoso. It is very pretty. It is like one of those favorite ones that people talk about beauty in the beauty world, I guess you can say. They are <laughs> very pretty. I like that there's a sheen to it. It is just so pretty. Yeah. This is the same one as the Coral Cove, but this one's in the shade T Rose. And it is a pinky blush, like a cool pink, more than a warm pink, almost peach shade. This is the Soleil Baked Bronzer. But as you guys can see, this one also has that sheen to it. So perfect for the summertime. I love using this one in the summertime. It gives you that really pretty glow to the skin. This one is the cream formula that they just came out with not that long ago. I want to pick up more because these are very pigmented. These are so, so nice. Definitely would recommend that you guys purchase them. I want to pick up more shades. They are just so pretty and they go very nicely. Even if you have powder on your face and you want to put these over, they work very, very nicely. They don't get cakey or look nasty on top of powder that's what that one looks like moving on to this section more lippies i know i said i had most of them over there i do have a few over here <laughs> i have my higher end ones i guess you can say over here these are all by pat mcgrath lippies here right in the front i love the packaging they're just so pretty these are the minis i do like them a lot the formula on these lippies though are just so good i'm gonna move them out of the way so you guys can see what's behind them next time we have fenty i have these two shades here these these are the lip paints or stunna lip paints something like that I can't remember but these are the two shades that I have I have these like more like everyday kind of lip color here and then I have this really bright bright pink one I was wearing this in the all pink collab video if you guys haven't watched that I'll link it down below as well but that's the lippy I was wearing in that video next up we have more Fenty this is the gloss bomb the original gloss bomb and we have the diamond and milk one and this one's called fuzzy this is like the pinky one it's really pretty as well i really like the formula on these they're so good and they do last a while and then i think i have one more fenty item here to show you this is in the shade griselda and it's like this dark dark lip it is so pretty i like to use it during the fall winter time just so pretty Next up we have these ones. These are from BH Cosmetics. These are glosses and they're very pretty. I like that this one has like a tint to it. When you put it on, it's not completely just a gloss. It has that nice shade on it and you can just throw something on your lips real quick without needing a lip liner. The shimmery one is also very pretty. And yeah, let's see if I can swatch it. There you go. I don't know if you'll be able to see the glitters on that one, but it's also very pretty. Next up we have this. This is from Trust Fund beauty i love the shade for summer definitely gonna be using this shade i love the color on this one i think i've used trust and fun beauty before i just don't remember what it was that i used then we have these ones these are more of a collectible kind of thing. These are from makeup revolution and they're the collab they did with friends so that's the rachel lipstick and the phoebe lipstick the shades on these are actually really pretty so they are shades that i will be using and it has a cute little lip stamp on it this one, this one's a little bit lighter, more cool tone shade. It's still really pretty. Here we have this one. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. This one is actually a really nice lip gloss. I do use it, especially right now in the summertime. The only thing is a little bit on the sticky side, so my hair does stick to it, so I only wear it once in a while. But it is a really pretty one that you can just throw on because this shade, at least for me, it works just as, you know, something to throw on real quick before getting out the door. Next up, we have this lip crayon this is actually gifted to me from jackie natural part of her giveaway that she had and i love the shade here it's just those nice dark berry shades then we have these these are from ColourPop. same thing with these up top here these are their luxe lips and these are really 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 nice i really like the formula on these this shade right here is so pretty it's like an orangey red but it's just like so pretty it's this one's like cream formula it is so nice i really Really, really like these they're so comfortable on the lips and then we have the hocus pocus ones i think they're all reds but
but they're different toned reds. They have different shades to them. And these have the names of the different witches. We have Mary, Sarah, and Winnie for the three witches from Hocus Pocus. Oh wait, I had another Fenty one, my bad. This is more on the like orangey side. It's very pretty. Looks like that. And this one I could probably use in the summer as well. It does look very pretty or to brighten up with shade if I needed to. And last but not least are my Jaclyn Hill ones. I told you guys I had more stuff from her and I do. Right now they're going to look like they're the same shade but when I swatch them they are all very different shades. They're not the same at all but I know right now in the tubes they definitely look like I grabbed but they are really pretty and they are very very different. Next up we have some more lippies. These are from Colourpop and one that is not from Colourpop. This one is from Reina Rebelde actually. It's a lip crayon and it is a very nice one. It's another one of those dark berry shades that I like so much. You guys can tell that I love berry shades. I have a lot of them. The formula on these are actually really nice. So these are all Colourpop lippy sticks. They are very pretty. I like all of them. But I have different shades here. I have a really bright pink shade that I like a lot. This one here is like an orangey red shade. This one's a red red shade. And then I have some like darker toned ones, more nude ones, some pinky ones, like a dusty rose one over here. And they're all very pretty and I keep them all in this little acrylic. I also got this one from Amazon. If I can find them again, I will leave them in the description box for you guys. And then we'll get to my little square thing over here. I have a bunch of MAC lipsticks in here, a couple of Jeffree Star, and a couple of other things. Okay, so all these ones that are in front here are all MAC lipsticks. This one is from the Patrick Star collection with a MAC. This is what this one looks like and it is a pinky purpley lipstick. It is very pretty, very comfortable to wear. The same formula as the regular MAC lipsticks. This is what this one looks like. I love the packaging on this as well it's just so pretty i love the gold next up we have this one this one was from his christmas collection with them and this one's more of a nude color it's really pretty still i think this one's called mama star it's a very pretty shade a nude brown like terracotta shade really pretty this one is just a regular lipsticks this is a satin finish and that's what that one looks like. I like this shade a lot. This one's in the shade Spirit and it's very pretty. I love my MAC lipsticks. They're just so comfortable and easy to wear all day. So I like that one. This is another one. This one's the Tropic Tonic and this one's a matte finish but it's still very pretty. This one's more of a summer color. Definitely will be wearing this one in the summer. That's yeah, so pretty. Look at it. That red orange kind of color very pretty shade this one is the oh i don't even know because it is that old but it's still very pretty i've had this one for a while actually this one's a little bit different than the other ones i think it might be part of their retro one this one is a satin finish it's also another like nudie color you guys can see that it's been used and abused because i love <laughs> these two here are some of my favorite ones for the fall this one I've used a lot. If you guys have seen my older, older videos, I used to use this one so, so much. I mean, it's still one of my favorites. This ones are from their Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick Collection. And it's this very dark, vampy shade. Very, very pretty. They're not too drying. They can be a little bit drying, but not too bad. Not like highly lipsticks. I really like this one as well. This one's more of a cool toned one. This one's really pretty. This is also part of their retro matte liquid lipsticks. This was in the shade Cafe Au Chic and I used to use this one a lot too in my videos, like my older videos. But yeah, I do like these ones. They're so pretty. We have these ones over here. These ones are from Jolie Cosmetics. They are really pretty. They have like a cream formula to them. This is like a true, true red. You guys see that it's really pretty and then this one's like the dusty rose one it's also very pretty and they have like that cream finish to them so once you eat or something like that they'll probably be gone but i always carry mine in my purse so you can reapply and this is the really pretty vampy shades that i like and then we'll move on to 
this next last three. This one I just got not that long ago from a boxy charm box. This is the Laura Mercier 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. And it's called Makeup Merlot. Merlot? Merlot? I don't know. Whatever. But it's a very pretty shade. And it's a berry. It is actually a lot lighter than it looks on here. I did use it. But yes, that's what that one looks like. Very cute. Last but not least are these two right here from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They are from the gloss collection and their lip glosses. This one is like a pinky, orangey, purple, different kinds of glitters in there. It's really pretty. And then we have these other more deeper like a magenta kind of shade. It's also very pretty. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Part 2 of this makeup collection. There will be a part 3, so stay tuned. It'll be out in a couple of weeks. So make sure you are subscribed to be notified of when that video goes up. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you do have any questions about any of the products that I talk about, leave them down in the comments area. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video. And we will see you guys in my next one. Toodles.